So here we are having refreshments on the balcony after having dinner. And we have people ask us why we as Americans live in Crimea. Honey, why do we live in Crimea? Because how beautiful it is in Crimea. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we could not afford a view like this in the United States. This would be worth millions being half a kilometer off the sea in a roughly 280 square meter house. So, because I work in the United States, we can live here pretty well. We've been hit by inflation here, like Americans in America or Europeans, because of course the value of the dollar isn't worth as much here. Prices haven't gone up here, but we're paying about 40% more because the value of the dollar has dropped so much. Now, what do we get here that we can't get in the United States? Cost of living, conservative values. That's the big one for me. You will not find liberal values here. Men are men, women are women. They have some alternative lifestyles. They survive just fine. So Arena likes it because we live in a resort area. Now some of the other things that are good about living here is the food. The United States, a lot of the food you get, you understand, is picked green, sent to the stores, sprayed with chemicals to make it look ripe, and it doesn't have flavor. Uh, doctors here that have been to the United States call the food dead. And uh, here it's all fresh. It's very tasty. Tomatoes taste like tomatoes. Cucumbers taste like cucumbers. And uh, it's full of vitamins. It's healthy. So it's another good thing about living here. Here it feels like we're in Italy. Very nice weather, a lot of sunlight, good food. So it feels like we're in Italy. So nature is pretty untouched in here. Um, they do not allow major production on the Crimean Peninsula. So not a bunch of factories pouring crud into the air. Um, they protect trees. There's a bunch of trees that are illegal to cut down like juniper trees. Now, like anywhere, it isn't perfect here. And, uh, you know, every place you live has its pros and cons. Uh, Irina and I, after two years of construction, are pretty tired of the unreliability of construction workers in Crimea. And uh, the lack of pride in doing a good job. So, and banks. Don't get me going on banks. I watched a video from a woman from Russia that lives in Colorado who said that the banks in Russia are so far in the future from American banks. And I would say, in some things, yes, paying people by their telephone number is a great thing. But on the other hand, the banks in general are not very good to their customers. They charge for everything. You have to go to a branch for services you can get taken care of by telephone and mail in the U.S. And uh, there are no consumer protections for purchases. You buy something with your card or with a QR code and it's not a good product. Don't call the bank. You have to call the police and report it as a criminal thing.